Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The regular sitting of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia took place. Are we Azerbaijan? What is this? Artsakh Minister of Foreign Affairs, in response to Artsakh resident being given an Armenian passport with Stepanagert Azerbaijan, listed as birthplace. Ashok Jivani House Museum in Kartsakh village to get online. U.S. Congress members introduced legislation demanding Azerbaijan's immediate release of Armenian prisoners of war. Arab countries intend to restore Syria's full participation in the Arab League. Lavrov. Tons of garbage was removed from the historic Shamiram Canal of Western Armenia. Armenian cultural values were presented at the UNESCO Regional Center. On March 16, a regular sitting of the government of the Republic of Western Armenia was held headed by Prime Minister Seda Melikyan with the participation of the President of the Republic, Armenak Abrahamian. The agenda of the session included six issues, four of which were not reported and one was secret. The Prime Minister touched upon a number of organizational issues before discussing the agenda. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs reported an annual activity report. It should be reminded that the regular session of the National Assembly of the Republic of Western Armenia will be held today. In an interview with Aravot Daily, the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Artsakh, David Babayan, prioritized the protection of Artsakh's sovereignty, noting that it should be strengthened even more. Aravot Daily made the observation that Baku's appetite has increased so much that the president of Azerbaijan, for example, has repeatedly made territorial claims to Armenia, showing his ambitions for Sunik and using the Zangezur corridor phrase. Moreover, he is inviting other countries to make use of different projects. That is, they consider the Artsakh topic to be closed already, and now they have moved on to Sunik. Azerbaijan pursues a clear policy, and there have been no countermeasures from our side, Babayan noted. Of course, it is pursuing such policies, but that doesn't mean that they will give up or that we will give up our sovereignty. The smallest details can make a big difference here. For example, I ask a simple question to a half-insane woman who says Shushi was theirs. Okay, we understand that. She was a private citizen. She didn't understand. She was uneducated, etc. But it's incomprehensible why someone born in Artsakh receives an Armenian passport that lists the Panagert Azerbaijan as their birthplace. Are we Azerbaijan? There are even people who received passports like after the 44-day war, and their passports also said the Panagert Azerbaijan. What is this? Do we need to unite or not? Does Aliyev write Yerevan Armenia in the passports of people born in Armenia? Write USSR. Why are you writing Azerbaijan? This is the only museum in Javak that can be viewed online. The aim of this project is to allow people around the world to experience Armenian art. An Armenian version of the website of the Ashuk Jivani House Museum in the village of Kartzakh has been launched since December 2020. At the moment, the Russian and English versions of the website are ready but are not launched. The Georgian version is in the process of being created. The opportunity to visit the museum online has been created in the framework of the establishment of Jivani Online Museum program. The program is initiated by Javakheti Support Foundation and funded by the Ministry of Education, Science, Culture and Sport of Armenia. The official opening of the site will take place when all four languages will be launched. Admission to the museum is free. The website has an online shop that sells various souvenirs made by children with disabilities from Gyumri, as well as souvenirs with the theme of Ashok Jivani. More than 30 U.S. representatives joined House Intelligence Committee Chair Adam Chief in introducing new legislation, led by the Congressional Armenian Caucus leaders, calling on Azerbaijan to immediately release Armenian prisoners of war and captured civilians, illegally kept hostages. The final part of the resolution says, the House of Representatives calls on Azerbaijan to immediately release all Armenian prisoners of war and captive civilians, urges the U.S. State Department to work with Azerbaijan at all levels, including within the framework of the OSCE Minsk Group, to demonstrate its commitment to fulfilling its obligations under the November 9 Declaration of International Law on the immediate release of captive civilian prisoners of war. According to Billy Rakis, the move by Azerbaijan to detain Armenian prisoners of war months after the war is a clear violation of the Geneva Convention and international law. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov presented details on his visits to the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia and Qatar during a phone conversation with the Syrian Foreign Minister Faisal Migdad. The press service of the Russian Foreign Ministry reported via Armen Press. 
Lavrov informed about the results of Migdad's recent visits to the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia and Qatar, emphasizing the strengthening of the principal disposition in the Arab world. It refers to the resumption of full participation of the Syrian Arab Republic in the work of the League of Arab States, the statement said. Approximately two tons of garbage was collected in the historic Shamiram Canal within the framework of the environmental cleanup program initiated by the municipality of Ipek Yolu, then Western Armenia. Information brochures were distributed to citizens. The residents of the area mentioned that many years ago, the water was so clean that they drank it and fish lived in the canal. They urged everyone to stand up and protect this historic canal. The citizens also thanked the Ipek Yolu municipality for the work done. The Regional Center for the Safeguarding of the Intangible Cultural Heritage of Southeastern Europe, working under the auspices of UNESCO, has launched the Intangible Cultural Heritage Days project, which presents elements not yet included in the UNESCO representative list of member states, including Armenia. The goals of the project were the effective preservation and popularization of intangible cultural heritage, the transmission of values from generation to generation and their inspiration. Within the framework of the Days of Armenia project of the program, Armenian embroidery, wood art, and eatable plants were presented, referring separately to the features of each element. Now we present you in Muradin by Shogakan Ensemble. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.